Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Paranoid and Night End here on Shakura's Plateau. Paranoid spawning as the red Zerg player on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, on the on the other side of the map, we have Night End spawning as the blue Protoss over here at the 10 o'clock position, the top left hand side. So top right hand side versus the top left hand side here on Shakura's Plateau. These destructible rocks will more than likely come into play. And I really like when it's when they spawn on the same north side or south side just because there are naturally two entrances into your opponent's base it makes the map feel much smaller and also allows for a, a lot of different strategies probe now walking its way down over here most likely will be doing a forge expansion here and perhaps a forge here and then followed by a gateway and then a nexus most likely as that's what i've been seeing night end do in this protoss versus zerg game series Paranoid now moving out with this one Overlord. As that Overlord makes its way down, yeah, I do not believe it will spot the... No, it will not spot that one um, probe in time and will not be able to figure out where exactly Night End has spawned. So Night End going to simply walk up this ramp as a drone now makes its way down over here and now trying to get some damage onto that one probe. Now, I believe that Night End, if he tries to decide to do a pylon block, would be fairly successful here as he's already has his forge down. So with one forge down, he could try to do a double pylon block followed it up with a photon cannon and then start warping in photon cannons up on that high ground that would be a fairly effective tactic as it would be very difficult for those zerglings and even that queen to get any serious damage onto that one um, onto those pylons and that photon cannon however the spawning pool is already in play so most likely night end will not try to do that pylon block just because the pylon block is used more as a harassment technique to deny the transfer of queens and probes between the two locations. The probe now coming down over here, dropping in a pylon, and now you saw that Paranoid was trying to use that patrol trick in order to make sure that that one probe did not drop in a pylon here. The probe may try to come back and get a pylon down still, so is it going to try to drop in a pylon? No, no, not going to drop in a pylon, as this one pylon may finish warping in completely. No, not warping in, and cancelled at the last moment. We do see that there is a spawning pool in play there, and yes, my wife is taking care of my daughter, if you can hear her in the background. She is quite alright. We now have a photon cannon also coming in, finishing warping in here, as we're also going to get a gateway. So, that gateway now coming in, and give me one moment, actually. Alright, my daughter's okay. I'm going to go ahead and continue the game, yeah. So, my wife's got, got her taken care of, no real worries there, as we now should be seeing a gateway warping in in just a moment. As Night End already has that nexus down, there are two Zerglings now making their way out across the map. The Zerglings still do not know where exactly Night End has spawned. As this Overlord is starting to creep out into this location here, or creep its way over into this location and will not be able to see anything, there is that one Photon Cannon. Photon Cannon did not get any shots off, I do not believe. And no, no shots off there. I and now in comes this one Zergling. Zergling will take a Photon Cannon. And now that Zergling backs off. Be able to save that one Zergling. As that Photon Cannon only needs two hits in order to take that down. So in comes this Overlord. Now Overlord making that slow trek into this location here. As Night and finishing up this Nexus should have a very, very strong economic advantage in just a moment. As he will be able to double Chrono Boost out probes very easily. On top of that, he does have some additional gateways as well in order to, to train up more units. And now you can see Night End Harvester counts currently seen on 23 Harvesters as he's still Chrono Boosting more and more probes and now transferring some probes from the main base to the natural expansion as that expansion has been completed. So Night End now mining off of um, six or 15 mineral patches. Meanwhile, Paranoid also mining off of 15 mineral patches as well, transferring some drones over. And the only unit coming in from Night End so far is 26 probes. And no Zergling or no Zealots, no Sentries, no Stalkers, nothing at all. As this one probe trying to get as much scouting information as possible. That one probe ha has not seen whether or not it is a hatchery upgrading this. And it does see that it is currently upgrading the tier 2. And that was the critical portion of that upgrade to see that the hatchery was currently upgrading the tier two. He knows that a that aspire may be coming in within the next two minutes or so, and he should try to get for the proper defense, perhaps even a stargate, or if he if roaches are going to be coming in, he needs to get immortals. So it's going to be a very very precarious game that night end will have to try to stop any of those mutalists, as those mutalists will be able to be massed much more easily off of two hatcheries than just one. 
so knight and now transferring some probes over here there is one stalker sitting over here on this front door holding position making sure that no units are able to simply run by into the main base 36 drones for paranoid 34 harvesters for night end as both players just continue to just macro up an even stronger army so paranoid currently has um two queens down or three queens down in play and now going for a hydralist then so hydralist then not your standard opening here on um excuse me here on the shakura's plateau or in a zerg versus protoss matchup and those hydralist then will be able to deal a lot of damage and now we see a double stargate by night end so Knight and Stargate will not be nearly as effective as he wants it to be, as those Hydras are going to be able to be trained up very, very easily off of two hatcheries, able to train up about 10 Hydralisk every game minute, as long as he has enough production, probably somewhere closer into the realm of 6 to 8 Hydralisk every game minute. And 6 to 8 Hydralisk will be able to shoot down Void Rays and Phoenixes alike until those Phoenixes are able to start Graviton Beaming and reaching critical mass in order to kind of neutralize the rest of that Hydralisk army. Back over here, the Queen is down in this position. Paranoid still setting up this Creep Highway and doing a great job doing so. So with this Creep Highway, he will be able to move out with these 3.37 movement speed Hydralisks that move, um, what, I believe 20% faster um, almost 20% faster than a stalker so th that goes to show you how quickly they're able to deal that damage and then continue to move along their merry way one's merry way one zerging down over here as an overlord now flying in and now we'll quickly see that there are double stargates over here and see that there are also double training phoenixes those phoenixes are going to pop out in just a moment take down that overlord but the scouting information has been done i like this play by paranoid a lot of times zerg players simply do not get um, an overlord speed and they don't try to suicide overlords in order to get that critical information if if you believe that scanner sweep is worth it for a terran player to use a scanner sweep is actually worth about 300 minerals so it is definitely worth the one larva and the 100 minerals in order for that overlord to gain more sight that overlord also is able to see much more than just a very small portion of that base if you remember to do so we now see those phoenixes moving out and those phoenixes going to run straight into a group of hydralists there and down goes one of those phoenixes are ready a second phoenix almost taking some damage as well but no the shield's able to protect it as those phoenixes are now going to try to regroup and those, these phoenixes do not have that many kills on no no kills on them whatsoever so far as these phoenixes are looking and hunting for some units to kill able to take down a zergling there and now continue to just look around the map there is one queen off in that position and now roach is also being trained so it is going to be a roach hydra army in currently in production we do see a robotics bay as well so the robotics facility excuse me the robotics facility now coming online and now double training immortals getting the level two missile upgrades in addition to the groove spine so it's going to be roach hydra against immortal phoenix and now a spire also coming online and hopefully paranoid will actually be able to get some mileage out of that spire that last game it simply was not successful as that overlord now trying to fly away phoenix is able to move and attack firing very very quickly getting a lot of damage dealt and down it goes back over here roaches on the ground roaches do not have that movement speed upgrade just quite yet need about another 20 game seconds or so but we are getting the robotics bay so an um, extended thermal lance range coming in from colossi are going to be able to deal a lot of damage and especially since we have double robotics facility double robotics facility meaning that we are going to get four colo four to six colossi very quickly and six colossi just deals so much damage back over here paranoid is done setting up this expansion over here and now starting to transfer more and more drones over the phoenixes are trying to get some damage out one overlord trying quickly getting to take a lot of damage and now being backed off once again as those hydralis are only able to really slither on that creep and effectively and now those phoenixes backing off once again we do see that there is another expansion being set up over here by night and and night and also getting a lot of photon cannons on this front door six photon cannons in order to ensure that this expansion does go up without a hitch so this expansion will be very critical will you be able to get a lot of probes and saturate this particular mineral patch before in order to be able to gain those additional minerals we do now see roaches now making their way out across the map the roaches however are going to take a fair amount of damage from those photon cannons we do see some probes now being transferred and now roaches just simply trying to walk in and they're now going after that one pylon that pylon taking a fair amount of damage so far it may get taken down completely but stalkers and immortals are there down goes the pylon and now those roaches just walking up onto that high ground and able to stay right there as two additional pylons now being warped in 
So yeah, more pylons now being warped in. Perhaps the roaches should be trying to come into this location here, dealing some damage. However, with those phoenixes now close by, those phoenixes will be able to graviton beam these roaches. And even though those roaches do have a decent amount of armor, there's just too many phoenixes nearby. And these roaches most likely will just get picked off one at a time as soon as night end does try to keep track of it. The roaches trying to scamper away, trying to hide from those phoenixes. And it looks like they will be successful. And no, the phoenixes coming back for them will be able to serve them up on graviton platters there we go down goes another roach there does attack very very slowly and now coming back in we do see some probes up on that high ground not quite sure why as they are now going to start to continue to mine out mine more minerals down in this location we now see drones now starting to saturate this location here so it looks like paranoid sitting on 75 drones at this time will have a very strong economy also has roaches and hydralis army wise is a little bit smaller than night end night end however um, has three less probes so that isn't going to be that much of a difference in terms of the economic gameplay as these stalkers are able to clean up some of these creep tumors uh, not allowing those hydras to move and attack very very quickly in comes some phoenixes the observer was able to spot this large roach army now coming in and we also have tunneling claws for those roaches those roaches are going to be able to deal a lot of damage and also be able to circumnavigate any force fields by over and by moving underneath them we also see a changeling here so that changeling currently just sitting there it does have a very very long shelf life it will be able to get a lot of information and spot a lot of things that are coming out as the queen now trying to get down some additional creep tumors and we'll be able to spread out this creep highway much more quickly you can see how quickly these creep tumors are being laid down by this queen and yeah, as they are being laid down, that is going to be a, just a lot of high mobility for this army as Phoenix is once again on the move by Night End. Night End able to Graviton beam up a Zergling, denying any activation of the Zelnaga Watchtower. However, Paranoid activating another hat or building another hatchery here. So now Paranoid fighting an East versus West battle. Double hatchery is now being laid down and this is going to be very difficult for Night End to be able to overcome the sheer production value of Paranoid as Zerg is able to run off of what, what is this? Six hatcheries should be a very, very powerful. However, Night End does have, already has what, five Colossi and still training up more Immortals to join in and also getting the extended Thermal Lance range. No level two weapons upgrade, just a level one ground armor so far as these Phoenixes still flying around the map one changeling down over here and that changeling still um just yeah just still sitting there able to just gain sight uh, continually as these roaches are now going to try to take down these backdoor rocks once these rocks are taken down and these rocks will fall relatively quickly as roaches deal what 22 damage right now after or 20 damage after that upgrade all the roaches just need to move in a little bit and get within a, a nice a, a better arc in order to deal more damage however in the center of the map we now see stalkers and immortals trying to move out trying to clean up the center of this location here as these roaches are going to start to deal damage into this location here just move and then take down those rocks in just a moment but four of those roaches currently sitting here going to slowly peck away at these rocks and once these roaches are able to peck away at these rocks enough damage should be dealt with just four roaches as we now should be getting the level three weapons upgrade sometime too I, I believe the level one ground armor on the probes will be in there just in time to make it so that these roaches will need to take three or uh, roaches will take three shots in order to take down a probe back over here that is a lot of corruptors in the air we are getting the level two zerg attack upgrade in addition to hive tech and now paranoid saying what a game so far as both sides are just sitting on probably very large armies yes almost 7,000 mineral armies coming in from both sides night and now massing up on sitting on 2,500 minerals paranoid sitting on 2,000 and now taking one of the few bases that naturally have eight minerals here on this map as well the stalkers also will have um, stalker blink by now or should be getting stalker blink in just a moment as we are now getting that twilight council completed and now level two upgrades level one shields and level two ground armor being collected queens now quickly getting picked out of the sky there as roach is now trying to come in however there are a lot of photon cannons in this location the roach is simply ignoring that and now coming back over here going to try to finish off many of those um any many of those probes instead the level one ground armor just really really coming in handy here finishing off many of those probes phoenix is now coming back all the way to fly and now very nicely done doing a roach burrow here and then saving the, many of those roaches so we do see another pylon currently being warped in and a photon cannon we do see some stalkers coming in as well so those stalkers should be able to try to deal some damage does night end see any of those roaches he sees one of them and that is it back over here the corruptors are still in the air and that is a fair amount of corruptors as we are now getting the spire down 
And why is he getting another Spire? I thought the Spire was already in play, unless that Spire was taken down earlier. No, he's getting double Spire in order to get more upgrades. So he's going to get the weapons upgrade and also upgrade to a greater Spire at the same time. The Roach is now over here trying to hide as this main army going to go ahead and engage over here. Roach is trying to engage mass Corruptors in the air, doing a lot of damage. Phoenix is also trying to clean up those Corruptors, taking down many of those units there. However, now focusing down many, enough, simply focusing on many of those uh, Phoenixes. He needs to take down those Colossi, as those Colossi are going to be dealing the majority of that damage. There, there go the rest of those Phoenixes, and now Immortal is able to clean this up. I believe many of those Corruptors were focusing on Phoenixes when they were, should have been focusing on something else entirely. However, there were 37 Roaches currently being queued up, as this army is not going to be able to deal that much damage. Simply, mass Roaches will be able to come in and clean up. In come those Force Fields from behind in order and saving many of those units from behind and there we go now in come more corruptors corruptors not trying to squeeze in roaches can burrow underneath however that does take a little bit more micro than paranoid really has at this stage there we go finally burrowing underneath those force fields coming in and now the contaminate also being used on many of those immortals and nicely done by paranoid also doing a lot of harassment over here still so these roaches able to just pick off many of those stalkers as more stalkers try to come in and try to continue to engage in on this fight many of these probes are getting taken down and now roaches swarming in over here as we are now getting a greater spire greater spire does take a little bit more time roaches should start to burrow and now but however many of those probes have been taken down down to 71 probes over here but paranoid down to 65 harvesters as he has suffered some casualties as well Mass Stalkers in the middle of the map. Production-wise, getting the level 3 weapons upgrade, level two, 3 armor upgrades, two additional Phoenixes, two more Immortals. But as soon as those Corruptors are able to turn into a Broodlords, this may change the game completely. Corruptors able to deal a lot of... Or sorry, those Broodlords are able to deal a lot of damage, especially with the Zerg level 3 Flyer attack as well. Also getting the level 2 weapons upgrade on those Broodlings. So those Broodlings are going to be able to deal a lot of damage. We currently see one Colossus in, uh, in that army and that is it. And those Colossus are going to be having their hands full trying to deal with a large amount of Broodlings being hatched out across the map. As this one hatchery is in play now, Knight End does not know about that hatchery, does see creep there, so he has a, probably a good suspicion of what exactly is happening. As those Hydralists are on the move, Roaches move so quickly, even while burrowed on creep, and now currently burrowing into this location, perhaps trying to set up a trap. No, gonna instead move out with these units. As there are a bunch of Phoenixes trying to fight, trying to engage there, those Fe those Corruptors just dealing so much damage. The Corruptors have a base armor of two, and the Phoenixes do not have any real armor. So, um, oh, sorry, any up weapons upgrades. So they're only going to be able to deal six damage per attack. And now in come these Corruptors. Once again, Corruptors quickly finishing off many of those Phoenixes. And now those Roaches have nowhere to run. As the Roaches are able to move much more quickly than those units on creep. And now able to catch up to many of those Immortals as well. Hydralis now moving out as well. Corruptors in the air, now finishing off many of those Phoenixes. Corruptors have nothing really to attack except for a couple of Phoenixes in the back. Hydralis, with that range of six, able to deal a lot of damage. A very nice arc is coming in here. We now see Broodlords being hatched in the center of the map. And that is going to be very difficult for Knight and Knight and needs to get up a lot more Stalkers. And I believe as soon as he's able to deal with this um, Stalker, or sorry, this Hydralis army, those Broodlords are going to hatch in just a moment and finish off the rest of those phoenixes and as soon as those broodlings start to swarm that is nothing gonna, not much is going to be able to stop them and paranoid doing a great job investing in these broodlords currently sitting on what 13 broodlords and these broodlords are going to simply tear apart this expansion and i believe give paranoid the game forcing a game five in and what i suspect to be a game of five game matchup between night end and paranoid so night end says gg really well done by paranoid i like the way paranoid plays zerg even though he didn't use any nidus networks he seemed to be almost everywhere at once with those roaches roaches being able to burrow move move underneath force fields which is a very very strong counter against zerg sentry a lot of players feel that zerg has a really difficult time dealing with sentries because ultralis is perhaps the most difficult tier 3 unit to get to compared to colossus compared to um thor for the terran however roach burrow movement is so powerful against sentries and because roaches have such a high movement speed a lot of players don't realize that roaches counter force field pretty successfully thanks for watching thanks for listening i hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay between night n and paranoid here on shakura's plateau